Hi guys, welcome. And today we're gonna to have a look at how you can add a fire effect to your text using Adobe After Effects. Here's a preview of the final project. As always, if you have any questions about this tutorial, or if there's another tutorial you'd like me to cover, then please let me know in the comments. And I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. So let's get into the video. First, we want to create a new composition. We can name that whatever you like. For this tutorial, we'll just name that fire. Make sure you set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and leave the background color as black. Next, we want to insert some text. So use the text tool and just click and drag. You can resize and position this however you want. Here I'll just set the pixel size to 335. You can set the text color to whatever you want. I just prefer to set everything as white as it's a bit easier to view. Next, with the text layer selected, we want to go to Layer, then Auto Trace. Here you should be able to leave these settings as default and then select OK. Now you'll see a selection around the text and a new layer has been created for this. Next, we want to go into the Effects and Presets panel and then search for Saber. Next, we want to click and drag this effect onto our newly created layer. In Customize Core, we want to set the core type to Layer Masks. And then we want to set the preset to Fire. We can then hide the selection, which makes things a bit easier to view. Set the glow intensity to zero. Then also set the core size to zero. Next, expand the layer controls, then go into effects, then saber. These same controls are available on the panel on the left, but for the purposes of a tutorial, it's a little bit easier to show you on the timeline. With the timeline position at zero seconds, insert a keyframe for core size, then move the timeline forward two seconds, and change the core size to four. Next, we want to right click, and then select Easy Ease. We then want to move the timeline to 20 frames and insert a keyframe for glow intensity. Move the timeline to four seconds. Then set the glow intensity to 30% and make this an easy ease keyframe. We then want to move the timeline to 9 seconds and insert another keyframe for glow intensity. Move the timeline to 13 seconds.
then set the glow intensity to 0%. Next, move the timeline back to 11 seconds. And insert a keyframe for core size. Move forward to 13 seconds and then change core size to zero. With the timeline at zero seconds, we want to make sure glow bias is set to zero. Move along four seconds, then insert a keyframe. At six seconds and 20 frames, change the glow bias to one and then make this an easy ease keyframe. Then at 9 seconds, change the glow bias to 0.5. Here I think the glow bias is a little bit too high, so we can just adjust this down to 0.7. And I think we can move the first glow intensity keyframe back to zero seconds. At zero seconds, we want to insert a keyframe for glow color. Set the color as yellow. Then move forward to 2 seconds and 20 frames. And set the color as orange and make this an easy ease keyframe. Next, move to 5 seconds and 10 frames. And set the color as red. Then at 9 seconds, set the colour back to orange. Then at 11 seconds, set the colour to yellow. And there you have it. You have a far effect on your text with adjusting glow intensity and color. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to see any more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments. I'd also really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.